Hello everybody, welcome back Bronco with Broncos Gaming World. We're uh, doing our finale for our Arkham Horror LCG Dunwich Legacy campaign. Uh, we are at the, uh, we have reached the end, and now we are lost in time and space. So we're going to uh, finish this thing today. I want to say a quick shout out, to, uh, hey Diggs, what's up man? Good to see you here today. Um, And uh, let's... Uh, Let's take a look at what we got here. We're going to uh, bring up our campaign log here, or excuse me, the uh, <clears throat> campaign sheet for this for this scenario. I'm actually going to backtrack and I'm going to reread the resolution from last week so that we have some context into what the holy crap in hell are we doing? Because this is a uh, this is. This is it, guys. This is it. All right, so let's uh let's take a look at at the story so far. All right, so <clears throat> at the end of last week's game, we had resolution one, which was uh if no uh, resolution was reached, but each investigator resigned. Uh, actually, no resolution was reached, but we did not resign or or get defeated. We don't end up uh, losing outright, which is what Resolution 2 would give us. We get Resolution 1. It says, The poorly bound tome appears to be written records of Ode Watley, the man who taught Wilbur the ancient secrets of sorcery. You find a passage describing a place outside of time and space where worlds converge and Yogg-Sothoth dwe dwells. Only by reaching the nexus at the edge of reality can you unmake the tear that has split open in the world. Feeling as if you may be going to your doom, you muster a final ounce of courage and step into the gate. So we have, in our campaign log, we have the investigators have entered the gate. We did gain three experience. I use that three experience to buy a permanent version of Streetwise. So we have a permanent version of Streetwise in our deck for this uh, finale today. We are on to scenario seven, lost in time and space. Passing through the gate is unlike anything you've ever experienced. You feel your body twisting and distorting, churning through realities as the gate pulls you to its ultimate destination, a place beyond the scope of human imagination. Suddenly, all is quiet and the chaos of the journey is replaced with a sense of solitude and dread. You're in an unfathomable place, vast beyond your ability to reason and utterly alien besides the landscape is surreal and strange the architecture impossible you are so far from home that home has become a threadbare a threadbare dream that you can barely recall even should you find a way out of this awful place you may never be the same again all right so we did we gathered all these card sets octagon does that for us nicely uh we put another dimension into play and each investigator, be investigator begins play in the Another Dimension. We set the following cards aside, the edge of the universe, tear through time, and our our worst fear, Yogg-Sothoth. Right there he is. Shuffle the remaining encounter cards in the encounter deck to build the encounter deck. Uh, there are locations hidden in the encounter deck, single-sided, so they operate of their, uh, completely differently than our normal locations. We actually are not going to end up with a solid uh, map, roadmap of destinations this time around, which is fine. It's just a little, a little different than before. So here we are. Here's our setup. <clears throat> Here's the board we have in the middle. We have another dimension. And we'll go ahead and put our character card up there. Bring it to the front. But we are we are here at another dimension. So here are the awesome gifts that the chaos bag has given us through the campaign. I will shuffle those into the chaos bag. We have two two tablets, <clears throat> a minus two and minus three, and the always awful elder elder thing coin, which is nothing but bad. And all five of those are nothing but bad for us. They're all just absolutely freaking horrible. We'll put those in the bag and shuffle that up a little bit. All right, so we have three. We have four acts to get through, or excuse me, four agendas to get through, and four acts to get through. If we get through all four acts, we may we may survive. We may not. A huge 
encounter deck of 42 cards today and three cards set aside. All right, here is our permanent card that we added to our deck, the permanent version of Streetwise. Spend two resources to get plus three knowledge or spend two resources to get plus three agility for the skill test. It is fantastic. I should have bought it long ago. I did not. That is the way it is. Uh, uh, let's go up here and take a look at the uh, token board for Lost in Time and Space. We got the uh, skull is minus one for each extra dimensional location. The uh, cultist coin is a reveal another token. And if we fail this test, we discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a location is discarded. Which, And then we put that card into play. The tablets, which we have a pair of in there, minus three. And if Yogg is in play, uh, he attacks us, which is, oh my god. He's, ooh, my, uh. And the Elder Thing is minus X, where X is the shroud value of your location. So if we end up doing a skill test here in another dimension, we'll flip that. It's a shroud of six, so it's minus six. It's freaking horrible. And then if we fail, and we're at an extra dimensional location, it gets discarded. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, this one's going to be this one's going to be a, a pain in the ass today. I can tell you. Uh, let's go ahead and read some. Uh, let's read our agenda one A. It says all is one. Pathways of sound and color extend for an eternity in all directions, dotted with impossible architecture and overgrown with alien wildlife. The lines between objects are jagged and shifting, and your skin feels as if it were inside out. As a forced action that after you are moved to a location by an encounter card effect, you take one horror. And since we are brutalized and beaten coming into this one, the one horror is poor. So we have three mental trauma coming in and one, yeah, no, no, not that, and one physical trauma coming into this finale. So we're beat up, so that is not going to help us. All right, then we have our Act 1A, Out of This World. Somehow you must find your way across this alien landscape in order to find the nexus that was described in Old Watley's Tome. All right, it has an action that we can take, which is discard the three top three cards of the encounter deck, choose a location discarded by this attempt, and resolve its revelation ability. This is how we're going to find locations to travel to. All right, Act 1A only takes two clues for us to get through, two clues per player. We're the only player. So we're ready to uh, take a look at our opening hand, which has an Arcane Studies, which is always good. Contraband, which is going to probably get Mulligan. The Dinamite at last, also probably going to get discarded. A Liquid Courage, Booze is always good. We'll probably keep that. And a Lone Wolf gives us extra resources. We'll probably keep that as well. All right, so we're going to Mulligan. So let's Mulligan out the Dinamite Blast and the... Uh, uh, Contraband. And those get swapped out for Dr. Armitage. And he's good to help us generate resources. And Guts, always good in a mission where there's probably going to be a good amount of willpower checks. All right, folks, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's dive into the finale Lost in Time and Space. All right, so we start with the player's turn. Our first turn of the game and our first action. I'm going to look at another dimension. It is un, an unfettered by reality location in the other world. There's a shroud of six and no clues on it. It does have a forced response that when a location leaves play, move each investigator and unengaged enemy at that location to another dimension. And that result cannot be canceled. So we can never stop that from happening. All right. So our first, uh, our first action is going to be I am going to, yeah, we're going to spend all our money right now. I am going to spend two. And we're going to put Dr. Armitage in play. Mm -hmm. We're going to spend another two and put Arcane Studies out. up here and then I'm going to spend another one and I will put Lone Wolf on board. Those are our three actions for the turn. We're not going to go anywhere. We're just gearing up. 
and then I'll probably get my Liquid Courage on board next turn, and then we're going to rock and roll into the pit of hell here. All right, so that's going to be the end of our turn. There's nothing else going on, so we're ready for the next round. Drop the Doom Token up there on all is one. We drew a flashlight, so that'll help us out. And our encounter card for the Mentos face is Terror from Beyond. It is a Hex Terror Treachery. The revelation, choose one of the following card types, asset, event, or skill, and each player must discard each card in his or her hand that is of the chosen card type. If this is not the first copy of Terror from Beyond drawn this phase, choose two card types instead. All right, uh, I will choose events because I don't have any, so I don't have to discard anything, so that card is a big flop, which is good for us. I accept. All right, so that is a back to us. I'm going to spend one and put some Liquid Courage on the board because we will need it. And then I'm going to spend an action to discard the top three cards of the encounter deck looking for a location. One. Two. Nothing. So we're kind of just hanging out in the... Uh... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, we're hanging out in the uh, another dimension area. I will spend uh, my third action to do the same thing. I will search for a location. One, vast expanse. No, no, and no. All right, we are trapped in the another dimension location. Nothing we can do about that. Off to the next round. No enemies, no nothing. We drew a hard knocks. We're going to have our kit up and going. That'll be good for us. I forgot to draw my extra card for the lone wolf. I can't forget to do that next turn. All right, here we go. Uh, encounter card from the encounter deck is a Yithian Observer. Oh, shit. Okay. Right out of the box, we find an asshole that wants to come give us a give us the business. All right, Yithian Observer, four attack. 4 health, 3 agility. He's a monster and a Yithian. If we were playing multiplayer, he preys on the character with the fewest cards in his hand. Uh, forced, when the Yithian Observer attacks you, discard one card at random from your hand. If you cannot, the Yithian Observer gains plus 1 damage, plus 1 horror for this attack. That is awful. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So... He is on us, so now we have to figure out what to do here. So it is our turn. I can evade him in an attempt to do other things, which I think is going to be what we're going to do here. All right, so I'm going to discard. I'll discard two. Actually, let me generate my one resource for Lone Wolf. Boom. And I will discard two resources to boost my agility by three, so giving me an agility of six versus his agility of three. Here we go with our test. It is the tablet. The tablet is minus three, so we're good. We're even up. We have evaded the Yithian Observer. He is not very observant. Our next action will be to drop three cards off the deck looking for a location. One. Nope. A two. No. No. Okay, there's a bunch of locations in this deck, too. Actually, we have not found any with any of this is uh, disconcerting, to say the least. Uh, I'll, my third action will be to do that. I can't run. I can't do anything. I don't have a weapon, so I don't want to fight this guy. Here we go. One. Wormhole. Two. Endless Bridge. That's a location. Three. Offer of power. All right, so those two get discarded, and we have found an endless bridge. So the endless bridge will go over here. You will notice that the endless bridge, the another dimension, has the triangle symbol. So it connects to anything that has the triangle symbol, which is the endless bridge. But the endless bridge does not connect to another dimension. So if I go to the Endless Bridge, I have to 
figure out what to do. So then this bridge gets put into play. So I lose two resources because that's what it does when it goes into play. So one, two. And that was my third action of the turn, so I can't do anything else. So that is going to be the end of the turn. He is not a hunter, the Lithian Observer. doesn't matter because I'm in the same location as him, so he's going to ready and re-engage me. So up he comes, and he re-engages. We're one away from flipping all as one. Uh, I will use Dr. Armitage's ability. As soon as I drew Hard Knocks, I'm going to discard it and generate three resources. Two, three. And exhausts him, so I can't do it. I can only do it like every other turn because he gets exhausted for me to do that. You know what? That might not be the case. I want to check that real quick. I want to see the. I want to see the uh, the order in which you're supposed to do that. Really quick. Let's check the order of play. I know it's in here. It's possible that I might draw a card, then refresh characters, and if that's the case, then he refreshes. Upkeep phase. Upkeep phase begins. Reset actions. Ready each exhausted card. Each investigator draws one card and gains a resource. All right, so it's it's irrelevant. So he's exhausted now, but he'll ready before I would have to do it next turn if I were to have to draw a card again and want to use the ability. Okay. So we're at the uh, Mythos phase. We're going to draw a uh, encounter card. We get Beyond the Veil. It surges. It says put Beyond the Veil into play in your threat area. There's no copy of Beyond the Veil in your threat area. Forced at the... If your deck has no cards in it, you take 10 damage. So that's the one that just kills you. Cool. I like how it surges too, because that's because the possibility of your deck running out isn't in just taking ten damage is not uh not enough. So we'll surge into a location, a prismatic cascade. It is a diamond location, which diamond I do connect to diamond. Diamond does connect to square, but there are no square locations. It says, put pris uh, the revelation is, put prismatic cascade into play and discard a random card from your hand. So we'll have to discard a random card. A random card discarded is the other hard knocks. That fucking sucks. Okay. Okay, that is the end of the mythos phase. So that's back to us. We have the Ithian Observer on us. I'm going to have to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to have to try to avoid him. So I will spend two resources to give me a agility of six versus his three to evade. We drew a zero, so he is exhausted. So he takes a nap. He's still here on us. My next action will be to run to the, to the uh, Prismatic Cascade because I can do that. Because they are connected. He is a diamond. Diamond. I cannot run back though, so I must deal with whatever is here. Okay. Um, so that was one action was to evade. My second action is to run. My third action will be to investigate here up by one. I will discard one resource for arcane studies to give me a plus one, so I am up by two. We draw a minus one, so we find a clue here. And that is the end of our turn. Monsters will ready and will ready refresh. They're ready to refresh. And ready for our next round. We drew a perception. I will keep perception. So that if I need to eh, you know what? I'll discard it because it gives me three resources. And right now I can use the resources more than I can use perception. And Dr. Armitage is, is exhausted. Okay. So uh, that triggers all is one. So all is one has finished. So we will flip that. And it says shuffle the encounter deck and the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Then discard cards from the top until a location is discarded. The lead investigator resolves that location's revelation effect. All right, so let's shuffle. 
the discard pile in the, into the deck. Shuffle them up. And then we'll discard until we find a location. Oop. Come on. There is another Prismatic Cascade. And this Prismatic Cascade does not connect to that one, so I can't move to it. These two cards go away. And its revelation effect is uh, put it into play and discard a random card from your hand. So I will have to discard a random card from my hand. I only have two cards in my hand, so... Ugh. And that was really not the one I wanted, but that's okay. Dr. Armitage is going to bail me out. I'm not going to play any cards from my hand this game, I don't think. <laughs> we're just going to... We're going to ride out with what we got and hope that it's enough. And just run from anything that wants to fight us, because I don't have any way to fight. So. Okay, and then we have check the campaign log. If the investigators failed to save the students, read the following. We absolutely did fail to save the students because the rabid dog appeared and ate them all. So we get a, a huge canine creature, alien to your eyes, and yet familiar appears before you. The creature rushes forward and you prepare to fend it off. But to your surprise, it runs through you towards a building that wasn't, that wasn't behind you moments before. Dirty Hall from the Miskatonic University. The creature bursts through the building's front door and you hear screams of panic from inside, followed by crunch and snapping of bones and cries of pain. Each investigator takes one horror regardless of their location. So you take a horror hit. Bang. All right. No problem. Our booze will help us. All right. And then we advance to the next uh, agenda. Off we go. Reveal the next agenda. As you cross this realm, or past, present, and future, as you cross this realm, you catch occasional glimpses of reality. It seems from old memories, more recent visions from, from, from the past few days, and sometimes even events that you do not remember ever happening. Force, it has a forced response. After you are moved to a location by an encounter card effect, take one horror. Okay. So that triggered. And now the encounter card for this mythos phase is a treachery. It's a vision of the past. It is a hex. Revelation is a willpower five. For each point I fail by, I discard the top card of my deck. So it's a five versus a three. I can discard some resources. I will discard two to make it even up. Even up. That's a draw it again. That's the cultist. He'll make me draw again. And if I fail after the skill test, I discard cards from my deck until, or from the encounter deck until location is withdrawn. So we may get another location here if we fail. We do fail. But have to discard two cards from the top of my deck. And then we discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until we find a location and reveal it. So that's bad. All right, here we go. Come on. Nope. Holy moly. Hey, get out of here, Lithian Seeker. There it is, a Terra 3 Space. Good part is, is I think Terra 3 Space is not that big a deal. I think it just says put it into play, so its revelation effect isn't all that bad. All right, let's see. Tear through space. It's a location with one shroud and one clue on it. It surges. We do not surge because it's not. Uh, it's not put into play that way. It says uh, it's discarded. We didn't reveal it from the encounter deck. As a revelation, it says put tear through space into play. So we just put it into play. It is a square location. And which means it can connect to these. So it does connect to any of the square locations. So it can connect to any of these, which is interesting. Again, this is uh, utter chaos. The we're we're in another another realm of existence here. So the the map and the layout is going to be utter and complete chaos. All right. So that is the end of the mythos phase. That didn't go great for us, but it could have been worse. It is our turn. There's still 
two locations here. All right, so I am going to use my first action to investigate here. I will first get a resource for Lone Wolf. I am investigate three versus a shroud of two. So I'm up by one. I will discard one resource. You know what, I'll discard two and put myself up uh, with investigative or uh, knowledge of six versus a shroud of four. Oh, cultist, let's not fail. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. All right, so we fail. That was awful. So we will uh, go hunting for another encounter or another location. There it is, the dimensional doorway. Dimensional doorway is a, a, lo a location with a two shroud and one clue. An other world, an extra dimensional. There's a revelation. Put dimensional doorway into play, then draw the topmost hex card in the encounter discard pile. And then it has a forced response. At the end of your turn, if you are at the dimensional doorway, I must either spend two resources or shuffle the dimensional doorway into the encounter deck. All right, and it is a squiggly location. I don't think anything that we have connects to it. So it's there. Oh yeah, the uh, Endless Bridge connects to it, so he'll go over here. Alright. And we draw the topmost hex of the encounter deck. Let's go find that awful thing. Oh, it's right there. Terror from Beyond. Okay, cool. The topmost hex. Uh, that is the choose one of the card types, asset, event, or skill. And we must discard them all. Um, I will choose anything but asset, so event, so we don't have any to discard. It doesn't do anything else beyond that, so it will get discarded. Okay. So that was the end of our first action. That went pitifully poor. Right now, J Jenny's struggling. Um, man. We'll, uh, we'll do it again. I will be up again by uh, a lot. Six versus a two. You son of a bitch. All right, so it's a cultist again for like the third time in four draws. And here we go with our redraw. It is a tablet. That puts it at minus three. We're still successful there. So we find a clue, which is our second clue. We finally get to put our second clue out there. So we will... Spend our two clues to finish Act 1. Out of this world, somehow you must find your way across this alien landscape in order to find the nexus that was described in Old Watley's tome. Flip that. The nexus of dimensions. A light shimmers in the distance and you head towards it to investigate. The wispy light drifts away from you, floating through the realm's strange gateways. Ascending looping staircases and crossing through barriers you dared not cross earlier. With, with little chance of finding the nexus on your own, you follow the light, hoping it is guiding you in the right direction. Put the set-aside edge of the universe location into play. All right, let's go find the edge of the universe. All right, edge of the universe, there it is. It is a moon location. Does anything connect to it? Anything on the board connect to it? Uh, yeah, the, uh, door, dimensional doorway connects to it. So, right over there. All right, and we will advance to Act 2A. Into the beyond. You continue to follow the wisp of light through the treacherous landscape. Makes it difficult, uh, makes it difficult, Corey, to chase. Still has the action of discarding three cards to look for locations, and then if... An investigator enters the edge of the universe. We advance. Okay. All right, so that was our second action. Our third action, I'm going to bail out of this location and move to, eh, you know what? Either way, either way, that's going to kick me back and I'll take a horror, but I don't want, oh gosh, I don't want to go back there right now. Doesn't connect to any of these, right? No, squiggly triangle? 
the connector triangle. The tear through space connects the triangle. So I'm going to move through the, to the tear through space. And that will be the end of my turn. So it's, uh, that's going to be a ready to refresh and ready for the next round. And then I have to deal with locations at the end of the turn here. All right. So real quick, before I go any farther, we drew, we drew my guns. I'm not going to discard those. I'm going to keep those. All right, so we have anything that happens at the end of the round. At the end of the, your turn, if I'm in the dimensional doorway, no. After investigation, your leaves the bridge, no. After the last clue, no. Last clue, all right, so here. The tear through space is at the end of the round, either place one doom on tear through space or discard it. I'll put a doom on it right now, for now. Because at the end of the next turn, it'll just get discarded. Because I'm going to go from the tear through space because it connects to triangle locations, I'm going to move to the Endless Bridge. Hopefully. We'll see. Alright, that is the end of the upkeep phase. We have put our Doom token on, on past, present, and future. We're going to draw our encounter card for the turn. Hey, we found another Tear Through Space. Let's put it into play. And it surges. So we will, uh, res we will resolve its surge effect. And it connects to other square locations, so I can move from there to there. All right, so it surges into another tear through space. Funny, they're all together. And that surges into a Yithian Observer. Awesome. What's up, bro? All right, so he, uh, he shows up right on top of me. Cool. All right, so that's our turn. So I will get my free, my free uh, resource from being the lone wolf out here in the abyss. I am going to evade the Yithian Observer. I absolutely must do that. So I will spend two to increase my, my agility to six against his three. We will evade him. Minus two. Successful. What's awful is that... Oh, man. Is that these guys are all going to show up here. They're all going to just end up piled up in the another dimension. I'll put him up here. All right, so he's been evaded. I'm going to use my second to investigate here for one. I'm up by two. Good enough. We drew a minus two, so we got it. Wait. We found one of the clues. That was my second action. My third action will be to move through another tear through space. That was my third action. Evade, investigate, run. And that puts us at the end of my turn, the enemy's turn. They don't hunt, so they just stay there. What's going to happen is they're all going to pile into here, so I'm going to need to be able to fight here pretty soon. Um, need one more clue to be able to get to the edge of the universe. All right. So let's look for anything that happens at the end of the round. We know these happen at the end of the round. So this one is going to disappear. I'm going to let it go. It gets discarded. He travels because it says uh, when a location leaves play, move each investigator and unengage enemy to that location. So off he goes. I will put a doom token here. And I will let that one disappear. Bye bye. Oof. All right. We'll move us over a little bit. And now we're at the end of the turn, so everything ready, readies and refreshes. I will discard Switchblade to generate three resources from Dr. Armitage. And uh, he, they are one away from advancing here. Which means I need to get out of here to make that go away. And the Mythos card. 
is a treachery, collapsing reality. It's a hazard. Revelation, if you are in an extra dimensional location, discard it and take one damage. Otherwise, take two. All right, so that's uh, that screws me because I am in an extra dimensional location. So I will uh, discard it. So it goes away. Oof. Putting me back here where the two Yithian observers are hanging out. What's up, guys? And I will take one damage. You take, you take a damage. The damage is not is the least of my concerns. All right. So now we're facing the two Yithian observers. Cool. I will generate my resource for Lone Wolf. And then I will evade the first one. One, two. At an agility of six. We are successful, so one of them is exhausted. Bye-bye. I will evade the second one as well. One, two. I will have to fight at one point. Up by three. <sighs> Auto fail. Cool. Really, like, the only thing that could have really stopped me was the autofail or the uh, Elder Sign. I think uh, a Skull would have done it as well. All right, so we'll uh, burn two more resources. One, two, and attempt to evade it again. Zero, all right. So they're both evaded, so they're not going to at least attack me. But I'd use all of my actions to do that. So they're going to ready and be right on me again. All right, so that's the end of my turn. Let's look for anything that triggers. There's nothing that triggers at the end of, of the round. So we are going to refresh for the next round. They, of course, ready and go right back on me. So I'm going to have to do that shit again. Oh, freaking amazing. So... I'm going to play the Grim Rule here because I would say that Dr. Armitage could tell me to discard this card that I just drew, but Revelation effects happen as soon as you draw them, I'm going to guess. So Grim Rule says do whatever sucks worse for the players. I'm going to say that I have to take Searching for Izzy, so I have to just eat it. All right, so I'm going to put for Searching it from Izzy as far away from me as I can possibly get it. Which at this stage is on is, is where I've got to actually go is at the edge. So I will search from a thematic standpoint. Pretty freaking amazing. I will search for my missing sister to the edge of the universe if that's what it takes, because that's where that that is going to go. Okay. That hurt though because I did not get to generate three resources from Doctor Armitage. Uh, they are one away from advancing past, present, and future. That's not good for us. Mythos card coming off the deck is the Endless Bridge. It's another Endless Bridge. Put the Endless Bridge into play and lose two resources. Fucking amazing. Holy cow, is that bad for us. All right, one, two. That means I'm not going to be able to evade both of the Lithian Observers. Cool. Freaking really cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. It was like the worst possible card I could have drawn there. All right, that's the uh, that's the mythos phase. So we're on to uh, yeah, we are on to we're on to our turn. I guarantee you the the random card draw from the Eastern server is going to cost me my guns too. You watch. All right, here we go. I'm going to uh, evade one of them so I don't get hit by both of them. Two. <laughs> All right. What is X? X is the shroud value of your location. Well, we already are fully 100% effing aware that it's a, a shroud of six so that's a minus six so we are gonna fail to evade even though i was up by three on it i'm gonna fail to evade the chaos bag has been nothing but absolutely brutal to us today so my first action failed uh my second action i will attempt to evade 
I'm not going to discard my guns. I need them. I will attempt to evade, even up. No, we fail that. Not an extra dimensional location. My third it will be to, I'll try to evade it one more time. No. So we could just, there's just no way we couldn't evade them. They were on top of us. We Nothing we can do. All right, so it is a monster's turn. They are going to make me discard both of my cards. There's nothing I can do about that. My guns and and I will take two damage. One, two, and not, not clues. No, keep pushing the wrong button. I will take two damage and two horror. And I'm still stuck in the same spot that I was in the last time all right so we're ready to refresh it has gone poorly we are lost and we cannot find our way out i will discard that to generate three resources three mythos phase ends so let's advance the prince of failure or the price of failure oh trust me we are looking at the price of failure all over the place in this one at the, at the end of all things. So shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck, then discard cards from the top until a location is discarded and the lead investigator resolves that location's revelation effect. All right, so we will go shuffle those into the encounter deck. We will shuffle and shuffle. And then we will reveal cards until we reveal a location. No. Might be a while because they've got a good number of them up on the board already. Wow. <laughs> wow. Where are they? Holy cow, man. That's insane. Absolutely crazy. Where are the location? There it is. Air through time and space. Goes right there. I discarded a bazillion dang cards. How many cards did we discard for that? We discarded 16 cards before we found a location. Nope, more than that. 16. Hold on. Do more than that. 23 cards before we found a location. That is absolutely crazy. Ridiculous. All right. Uh, check your campaign log. If at least one name is recorded under sacrifice to Yogg, read the following. You hear a familiar voice calling out to you, and you enter an impossibly shaped building of cracked stone. No, don't, the, vo the voice cries. You rush towards the voice down a, down a step of steep, narrow stairs. Upon reaching the bottom, you find yourself in, in the hidden chamber of Dunwich, bound by shackles. You see those who, who, who you failed to save, bloodied and maimed. A creature with a man's face feeds on the corpse on the ground. The head of the corpse turns to face you, and a sharp pain stab, stabs at your heart. Each investigator tests uh, willpower, willpower X, where X is the number of names recorded under the sacrifice to Yogg. Each point an investigator fails, that investigator takes one damage. We had three. If I remember correctly, I will go check. We had three. We had Zeb Watley, Professor Warren Rice, and Earl Sawyer were the three that were sacrificed. So it is a willpower three test. 
We have no cards in our hand. I could discard a resource here to get that into our advantage. I don't really want to take any more damage. With our luck, it's going to be a skull or something. I'll discard one and hope that being up by one will help us. It's a skull. Of course it is. I think that might be the end, guys, because I think that's going to defeat us. Minus one for each extra dimensional location in play. Yeah, I think that might do it. So it's minus up to my, up to five. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six extra dimensional locations in play. The skull was like the absolute positively worst thing we could have possibly drawn. <laughs> Which is kind of par for the course for the game today. It honestly, it's it's uh the finale. We were not meant to save the world today. We were just not meant to. Yeah. All right. So we lost by five. Excuse me. We lost by I was up by one, so it is a ended up being pointing the scare fails by. So it was ended up being a I was a four. And it ended up being a three, four, five, six, seven, eight test. So I lost by four. Can I take it? I think we can actually. It's going to hurt real bad, but it, I think we can take it. All right. So one, two, three, four. If we want to keep Dr. Armitage alive, I'm like that. All right. So that's that test. That was absolutely brutal. We're not dead yet. <laughs> we ain't dead yet, but we're close to dead, but we ain't dead yet. All right. And that puts us to the next agenda. All right. The next agenda is uh, breaking through. Throughout this warped dimension, no matter where you travel, there is a, a haunting shape in the distance. At first, it appears as a disc, like a black moon with many wiggling arms. But as time passes, you can tell it's growing larger and larger. After you're moved to a location by an encounter card effect, take one horror. Okay. That still has the same forced effect as, it, as it's had. And it has six to get through. All right. So we are now off to the encounter card. So here it comes. One, two, three. It is a wormhole, treachery, it's a hazard. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until the location is discarded. Resolve that location's revelation ability and then move to that location. I am going to. Now, wait, does it. I would say that it would probably. I'm going to just look. Look at all cards because I discarded so many the last time. Uh, it's right there. So three down. So these two get discarded. One. And close that. I'm not looking at them, so I don't know what they are. But those two get discarded because they were on top. Boom. And this guy says, Revelation, put the steps of uh, of Yahagharal, Yahagharal into play, then draw the topmost madness card in my discard pile. Cool. And it is a plus sign location. So anything that connects to the plus sign, which will be up here. And this also connects to the plus or squiggles. And the topmost madness card in my discard pile. Cool. Let's hope there aren't any. I'm pretty sure there is, though. Let's take a look at all cards. Aha, there aren't any. We have uh, actually escaped that. So far, nothing. Okay. All right, so that is the end of the Mythos phase. I'm going to take a quick break for a second, and I will be right back to uh, finish the absolute ass beating that this thing has given us. I'll be right back.
All right, and we're back. <laughs> we're back for some more absolute reaming. All right, so we finished the mythos phase. We ate the revelation of the uh, steps. Didn't do anything. We're still engaged with the pair of Yithian observers. We're at the stage right now where if we do not succeed, If we do not succeed in evading them, we will die. That's it. That's that's where we're at. So I will take my free resource for being the lone wolf. And then I will discard two of them in an attempt to evade the Yassin Observer. Here we go. Yes, Bex is minus two, so one of them is successfully evaded. We'll take a nap. I will discard two again. Do my streetwise. Streetwise says, spend two to get three. So I'm at a six versus a three. Try to evade him again. We have successfully evaded both of the Leothene observers. So they are exhausted and taking a nap. I will go. with my third action to move to an endless bridge. Yep. That is the end of the turn. So we will resolve anything that happens at the end of the turn. Uh, I will discard tear through space and time and discard it. Nobody's at that location, so it doesn't do anything. It just goes goes bye bye. I have not left the endless bridge, so that doesn't happen. Uh, when you leave the steps, so no. And those are both done. So those are still there. Everything's still there, but we haven't even got to the edge of the universe yet, which is surprising. In some of my other playthroughs on this, I got easily got to two. Uh, Got the two clues I needed to get to that one. <laughs> Today, when it counted, nah, <laughs> no, we're not going to do it. It's just not going to happen. All right. So that's the end. Everybody re refreshes and readies for the next round. I'll draw my one card that I have. It is Arcane Studies. I will immediately discard it to generate three resources. Two, three, and exhaust Dr. Armitage. They're at one here. The uh, card is a conglomeration of spheres. Cool. Some more enemies. And he's a hunter to boot. We love it. Does that try for an attack? He, uh, he is a one fight, six damage, four agility, monster abomination. If we were playing multiplayer, his prey would be the lowest willpower. He is a hunter, so he, will, he is now going to follow me around for the rest of the, day, of the game until I either kill him or something else makes him go bye-bye. After you perform an attack against the conglomeration of spheres, using a melee card, discard that card. That's what makes him a pain in the ass. He's a one fight, so he ain't that tough, but he's a pain in the ass. The fact that I am so physically beat up, I mean, I am one shy of, de of death. One shy of death. And that one point belongs to Dr. Armitage right now. So if I take one damage anywhere, it's going to be him. I don't have any way to heal myself. I have some bulletproof best in my, in, in my deck, I think. Actually, let me look. I think that may be in the discard pile. Let's look. I think it might be. No, no, it's not. So we still have the bulletproof vest that may be able to come to our rescue. But we're in a bad freaking way right now. Like, way bad. All right, so we are... Uh, it is the end of the Mythos phase, so it is our turn. Uh, yeah. Okay. I got to evade this SOB. There's nothing I can do. I can't fight him. I will, at the beginning of my turn, generate a resource for being the lone wolf. 
and then I will discard two of them to put me at a six agility against his four to try to evade him. I do successfully evade him, so he takes a nap. The shroud of four here. So I will discard another two resources. To give me plus three knowledge in an attempt to successfully investigate the endless bridge. Nope. <laughs> no, we will not, because that is a minus one for each extra dimensional location. So, no. So, I will uh, I will look. Does it connect to the other endless bridges? It's a triangle location. I will move with my last action. I will move here. And it says after an investigator leaves the endless bridge, either place one doom on the endless bridge or discard it. I will discard it. Bye bye, endless bridge. You go there. He goes to another dimension. We love that. And that is the end of my turn. So it says at the end of your turn, if you are at the dimensional doorway, you must either spend two resources or shuffle the dimensional doorway back into the encounter deck. We will spend two resources. I'm hoping to be able to find the second clue here to advance the act before it gets out of hand. We're close to things. Well, I mean, I am so close to being done, being dead here, that it's not even funny. So we'll see. Okay. So here we go. That is the end of everything. The enemies and everything are exhausted. Or they don't hunt, so they will refresh. And now we're ready for the next round. I already have some booze on me, so I will discard Liquid Courage for Dark Armitage's ability. To generate three resources. Three. That is what's saving my bacon. Honestly, the retreat wise is saving my bacon. I would just be, I would have died a long time ago. And the mythos card is treachery, the vast expanse. It's a terror. If there are no uh, extra dimensional locations in play, the vast. The vast expanse gains surge. Oh, there's plenty of those out there. Otherwise, you test willpower X or X is the number of extra dimensional locations in play up to a maximum of five. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's say uh, willpower five. I have a willpower three. And it says, for every point I fail by, I take a horror. I can take uh, two horror or one horror and not die. I pretty much have to pass this test. So I will spend one, two, three. Hey, alien! Thanks for uh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate you. Showed up just in time for the uh, crash landing of uh, <laughs> of this Arkham Horror Dunwich Legacy campaign because right now I am on fire and not in a good way. I am literally like running around with my hair on fire. Okay, so it is a willpower five against my willpower six. So I'm up by one. If I take more than one horror... That'll put me into go berserko two horror two horror two. Dark Armitage will take one. I will take one, and then I'm gonna be done. That's all I can take. So here we go. Zero. We got it. All right. Success has come at a great cost in this game today. All right. So that is uh, that's our turn. Here we go. All right. So we are looking at. 
the Shroud of Two. With one clue here, I need one more clue to be able to get to the edge of the universe. I don't know if I'm going to even try to find my sister there. Role playing theme wise, I totally should. Role playing and theme wise, I totally should. But I want to try to attempt to win the game. I'm literally running around with no cards in my hand. One point of damage left. Two points of sanity left. I'm going to spend my first action. I'm going to liquid courage it up to reduce one. And then I could take a willpower two. And if I succeed, I heal an additional. So my willpower is three. So no willpower two. Draw a zero. We get another. And that is the most I can regenerate because I'm running at a uh, trauma three. so bad it's so bad <laughs> all right let's go uh, i am uh investigating a shroud two versus a skill of three i don't see a reason not to boost it by up to six so i'm at a skill of six versus a shroud of two that should be good right minus one so we found it that's our second action our third action the dimensional doorway does connect to the edge of the universe. So I can walk there. So we will go there. We've reached the edge of the universe, which triggers the end of Into the Beyond. So we have successfully completed an Into the Beyond. Flip it. The world's edge. You reach an impossibly dense pitch black void and realize that this place is where all of reality all that is and ever will be ends in its center. You see a minuscule rift suspended just out of reach. When you peer through, peer through the tear, you're surprised to see the peak of Sentinel Hill. Somehow you've reached the other side of the rift. Now you must find a way to close it for good. All right. Close the rift. Act 3A, close the rift. The unearthly stones on the ground are inscribed with some sort of seal. Approaching them causes, you, it causes a voice to enter your mind speaking in an alien tongue. We still have the uh, ability to discard the top three cards of the encounter deck and choose a location. Uh, discarded by that effect and resolve its revelation ability. The objective, only investigators at the edge of the universe may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Alien, uh, thanks for thanks for coming by. Uh, good to see you. Thanks for subscribing. We're uh, we're on three days a week, so hope to see you some other time. Take care. All right. So only investigators at the edge of the universe may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. We need three. I have two on me right now. We got it. We got it. All right, so it flips. Edge of the universe. So location, it's other world. So two shroud, two clues per investigator. Says I must have at least two clues in order to move to the edge of the universe. Investigators at the end of the universe cannot draw cards in the upkeep phase. That hurts us really, really, really bad right now. However, comma, that is the end of our three actions. I do have searching for Izzy here. Not going to happen. It's not, not going to happen. Okay, at the end of my turn, that's now. If I'm in the dimensional doorway, I must either spend two resources or shuffle it into the encounter deck. I'm not at the dimensional doorway. It is the enemy's turn. The conglomeration of spheres is a hunter. So he will move and he can go to, to take the closest, or the shortest path, which means he can go from here to here. All right. Hopefully he doesn't catch us. That's the goal. I don't want him to catch us. That is the end of everything. Ready to refresh. Ready for the next round. Draw on a card. Where's my card draw? Oh, I have no card draw. 
because I don't get to draw cards while I'm in the at the edge of the universe. Here we go. Mythos phase. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a location is discarded. Resolve the location's revelation ability. And move to that location. Ugh. No. Okay, I think I messed that up the last time. It is what it is. I'm I'm taking a whooping as it is. All right. So all cards in the encounter deck have been discarded. So we will shuffle the encounter deck. And search for location. It's going to be like a rift in time, which is terrible for us. It's like the worst card to draw. This is how the game's gone, too. This is literally one of the worst cards I could have possibly drawn. Something that moves me away from right where I need to be. That's going to be probably what does it, too. I think there's literally like two locations in the deck. The ri the rifts are I think the only things that are in the deck. Yeah, the rifts are the only thing in the deck. And they somehow they gravitated all to the bottom. The last two cards? Last one card? Where the hell are they? Where the hell did they go? Something's not right. Did I just miss them? All right, we'll check again. Dump them all in there. Put them in there. That up, I drug those into the wrong deck. Sorry about that, folks. I'm going to have to uh, fix that real quick. But like, where on earth are the other locations in this deck? It's almost like it's missing some. I think it is. It means they, I must have drug them and put them somewhere they don't belong. So I need to go find them. Yeah, they're not in there. In I know for a fact that the game will not allow that to happen. It has those locations that disappear for a very specific reason. Just encountered it. So where are the locations? Because I don't have any of them on the board. Nope. Endless Bridge. Where'd they go? Yeah, there should be... There should be two dimensional or the, the rifts could be two of them. Where'd they go? Okay, they went somewhere. They end up in my discard pile. Where did they go? Weird how that did that. Why did it do that? That was weird that it did it that way. <laughs> All right, we found them. It didn't really affect anything because I found the one the last time. So we're okay. All right. Now we'll reveal cards until we find one of those clowns. Hey, right off the top. All right. It says put Terra through space into play. And it'll go over here. 
And that card says, and then move to that location. And I take one horror from moving to a location. Here we go. Oh. Okay. So that is the worst mythos card we could have possibly drawn. Legitimately the worst. Because it puts me back in the path of all the enemies that I have to go through again. But it is my turn. We will investigate the tear through space. Draw a one with my skill of get one resource for a lone wolf. With my skill of three, so I'm up by two. Got to be good enough, right? You'd think. No, minus four, or minus X shroud value. So minus one. If I fail. I discard it. That's uh, that's four, but not the worst thing that could happen. Right, so we didn't fail because we were up by two. So it's only minus one because it's a shroud of one. We actually have our third clue. Now I just need to get back to the edge of the universe. And that is not so simple. Go that way. Yep, we can go that way. All right, so that was one action. My second action will be these all connect. My second action will be to go here. My third action will be to go, oh shit. Uh, oh no. We'll go here. My third action will be to go here because it could connects, right? Yeah. Move front. It is a plus sign, plus sign, no plus sign, but it does have diamond. So move to diamond. This diamond has a plus sign on it. I can move the plus sign. All right. When I would leave the steps, I have to take a willpower to test. Okay. So that's our three. That ended up being okay. That's the end of the mythos phase, or the end of the investigator's face. Mythos face says the hunter hunts the prey. It's not a square. Unless a bridge can go to a square location or a squiggle location. We're going to race against him because he'll go to the squiggle. All right, that's the end of the round. Four out of six. I do get to draw a card now. Discard that to generate resources. One, two, three. Lost him. All right. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> the, the fact that we're still alive. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. End of the round. At the end of the round, that goes, that goes bye-bye. Discards. Nobody's there. None of these other things care unless I'm in them. Last clues is removed. Last clues removed. That's the that's home base. Uh, after investigator leaves, if if I am at the the doorway, so no, but I can get to the edge of the universe from the steps. All right. Cards, add the resource, add the resource, add the resource. Upkeep phase adds one. Okay, so it did add a doom. Okay. Mythos card. Conglomeration of spheres. Cool. That's what we needed. We needed that guy right on us. That's a that's precisely what we needed right now. Yeah. All right, so not so bad. I mean, he's going to chase us, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can get to here. All right, so we're at a three versus three here. So I can spend. Oh, I've got to evade him first. All right, he's an evade four. 
So we'll evade him. I will spend one, two to get me an evade of six against his four. I'm up by two. I have no cards in my hand. Generate an extra resource for Lone Wolf. Yep, here we go. I absolutely have to evade him. I'm going to spend two more resources. Give me a skill of nine. Zero. So he's evaded. He is taking a nap. I feel like I might need some the extra the extra I feel like I'm gonna need the extra clues. So I am going to move out of here. It says when you would leave steps of of Yahagrol, test willpower two. If I fail, shuffle steps of Yahagrol into the encounter deck instead of moving to your original destination. So I must pass this test. I must pass. I am currently at a skill of three versus two, which is good. I will discard one, one, two more resources to give me a skill of five versus two. I'm up by three. One, two, three, minus three. Perfect. So we succeed. So we have moved. From here to here. That is our second action. Our third action. I am going to investigate here. Discarding one. Two. To give me a skill of. Six. Against. Three, or against two. Try to grab that last clue. And then we will cash in. And see what the hell happens. Okay. I can draw zero so we get that clue. All right, we'll spend the three. So we spend three. Let's say just cash in three. Yep. We are there. We can cash in the three. One, two, three. And that will advance, close the rift. Mending the tear. You are utterly exhausted with no idea as to what can be done to close the rift. It is too distant to touch, and nothing you do has any effect. There is nothing here to guide you apart from the unearthly words that are seeping into your mind. Just then you hear a familiar voice within the echoing chorus and feel yourself compelled to repeat it. Plod ostium, you whisper at, at first. The, wor the words on the tip of your tongue. You whisper at first the words on the tip of your tongue. You close your, uh, your eyes to concentrate, and the echo grows louder. When it ends and you open your eyes, you face nothing but an inky abyss, and, and the tear has vanished. Remove edge of, the earth, or edge of the universe from the game and put the set-aside tear through time and time location into play. Okay. That might kill us, though, guys. I think that's going to kill us. Kill us. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna kill us. That's so sad. So close, guys. All right, so that gets moved to the victory display. Card it is. Why? Fortunately, a card effect moves us to here. Causes a horror. Well, the mistake I made was investigating. I would have at least been able to evade one of the two of them. Okay. Uh, put the set-aside tear through time location into play. Okay. We're just so beat up. I'm 
reveal the next act. Finding a new way. With no clear way out of this dimension, you seek another path. Uh, you still have the discard of the top three cards of the encounter deck looking for location. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, resigned we advance. Well, we close the rift, the tear in the rift, but now we need to find a way out, and that I don't think is going to occur, folks. I think we might have uh, succeeded, but but not succeeded. All right, so that is the end of the my player turn. That is the monster's turn. The hunters come back to me. These guys will do one damage and one brain. So one brain, one damage. We'll kill Dr. Armitage. Bye-bye. And then I take another damage. And that will kill me. So we beam back to the another dimension. And the Yithian observers chomp me to death. Until I can no longer fight back. And we have been defeated by the Yithian observers. So let's see what the end result is. We did accomplish part of the mission, so let's see what that gets us. Jenny, she fought her freaking ass off in that mission. We got really freaking far. We actually accomplished closing the rift, so we did accomplish that part. All right. We reached act, which act did we reach? We reached act four. So we did reach act four before we were defeated. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna bring that up here on the screen for us. All right, it says, before resolving any other resolution, if at least one investigator was defeated, the uh, defeated investigators read investigator defeated first investigator defeat where did you come from why are you here are you dreaming or is this place real now that you think about it haven't you been here before or perhaps you've been here all along now you remember this is your real home the path you now walk walk is is but one ledge with many more below you only have have to fall and you will and you will be where you belong one more step uh, each defeated investigator was killed. It says each defeated investigator is killed, so we have ceased to be. If another resolution was reached, other investigators read that re resolution. No. If n no resolution was reached, each investigator was defeated, and the investigators wrecked four when the scenario ended. Go to resolution two. That is where we're going to go because we do not have, we made it to resolution, we get resolution, resolution two. So the campaign has. Finished in resolution, resolution two, it says, Resolution two, several of the villagers from Dunwich heard, heard the ruckus on Sentinel Hill and went to investigate. What they found there answered none of their questions. What do you think happened? A frightened, frightened Curtis Watley asks as they examine the hilltop. The other, the other villagers shake their heads, unable to say. Last thing I saw, the sky opened up and there was this bright flash, one of them says, looking up at the starry sky from above the top of Sentinel Hill. Those Arkham fellows ain't nowhere to be seen, Curtis adds, looking down at the cracked stone altar. Not even a hint of them, Mr. Bishop and his pals now. Mr. Bishop and his pals now. Now that's a different story. The young man motions towards several corpses on the ground. Think we should get a hold of the, uh, uh, hold of the, uh, of the coppers out of Aylesbury? Why, so they can laugh at us again, Curtis spits? They ain't never going to believe us about all this anyway. He glances at the stone altar, fidgeting nervously. Better to forget about, about the whole thing. Come on, let's bury the dead and get out of here. The investigators win the campaign, but are never heard or seen from again. All right. <laughs> all right. That was freaking amazing. Honestly. At the end of all of it, that's how I want like a, a, a Cthulhu game to end. I succeeded but died trying and they never know what happened to us. That was apps. That was freaking amazing. Exactly what I want. Outstanding. 
The fact that I fumbled around, flopped around, raced to the end. It was amazing. Absolutely incredible. It's, uh, it's exactly what you want out of a, out of a Cthulhu base game, Arkham game. Like racing against all, against all odds. I was down to one freaking hit point left on my guy. Almost, almost all of, all of my sand was gone. Crawling, scraping until the very end. I barely outran the monsters that were trying to kill me. We, we, we get to the end. We finish closing. We finish closing, closing the terror in reality. Only to be teleported right back to where we started. And that's where the monsters over, overtook us. Do, you know, at the, at the stage where we were so exhausted and beaten. But the mission was accomplished. And then back home, nobody knows what happened to us and we're never, ever seen again. Incredible. Absolutely freaking outstanding. I loved it. All right, so uh, next uh, next time, we're going to start a brand new campaign. I don't know which character I'm going to run. I may run Jenny again. I may run somebody else. But next week, we're going to uh, start a new campaign. I'm not sure which one. I'm leaning towards... Either Edge of the Earth or Insmith Conspiracy. I'm not sure which, but I'm probably going to lean towards that direction. Um, chat, let me know what you guys think. I thought the uh, the game went really well. I'm certain at some point in time I missed something or made a mistake. I'm doing my best to not do that, trying to run the game as clean as possible, but sometimes we're going to miss, miss stuff and make mistakes. Ultimately, the uh, the narrative arc was fantastic. I really loved it. This game is amazing. Probably my favorite right now. Uh, of the of the LCGs I'm playing, it's like a uh, Arkham and Lord of the Rings are like right here, and Champions is right below that. I like Champions a lot. Um, it's the game I have the least amount of experience with, but it's freaking solid too. But Arkham, man, I've always been a big Cthulhu guy. You know, I mean, I've uh, I'm running some, I run Delta Green, uh, play Call of Cthulhu a good bit. You know, I'm running a game of Delta Green at Gen Con this year. So, uh, anybody who's watching, if you guys want to play a game of Delta Green, look up Broncos Gaming World. I'm running a Delta Green RPG at Gen Con if you're going to be there. Um, man, very, very cool. All right, guys, uh, that's, uh, that's the end of the Dunwich Legacy. That's the end of our, uh, live streams for the week i will be posting the vod of this over on my youtube channel broncos gaming world so if you did see if you saw part of it you want to see the finale go check it out i will have it up there in probably the next hour or two um i will be back for certain on tuesday with uh, lord of the rings lcg on our uh, saga campaign into the two towers now and we're going to be pl- doing in the uh, the Urukai we're hunting the uh, the Urukai, trying to recover our captive friends, Mary and Pippin. So um, tune in for that. And then next Wednesday, we're playing Marvel Champions. We're on to fighting uh, uh, Arnim Zola in the, in the uh, Rise of the Red Skull campaign. And like I said, next Thursday, we'll be back with a brand new campaign of Arkham Horror. Uh, chat, I appreciate you guys. Uh, Alien, thanks for subscribing in, in during the game today. It was good to see you. Uh, Diggs, as always, glad to see you show up and uh, hang out for a while. Until next time, guys, Broncos Broncos Gaming World. Take care. Check us out over on YouTube, Broncos Gaming World. Good afternoon. Good night.